Hey all, here's part one of the video that I said I'd do about cutting um, different brands of mirror gold acrylic. Um, I'm filming this one inside my house because in my garage it's freezing, it's one degree here, so I'll be doing it inside. Um, so this mirror gold acrylic here is the last one I've um, purchased and it seems to be by far the best one for cutting. It's got this sort of paper finish on it. Um, the paint on the back is applied really thick and as you can see the paint's shiny and it's got little little ridges in it um, and I cut this one shiny side up and I've never had any issues with it so with this one I found I can cut between 6 and 19 millimeters a second at between 45 and 50 percent of my 80 watts total power so this is the acrylic I've been having problems with it's got this plastic finish on the front of it and um, I normally cut this one face down shiny side down with tape on the back so you see that this acrylic has a dull finish on the paint on the back and it's applied a lot thinner and it tends to burn so you'll find that you'll get hazing around the edge of the job you can see right around the edge there it's got sort of like a a cloudy shadow so what I've ended up doing, uh, cutting face down, but the problem with cutting face down is you end up getting burns like this. So I started putting Bear brand masking tape, painter's tape on the back, so that stops the back from burning. Um, but it tends to not make the edges so cloudy. I found that when I'm cutting... Um, with this one face up, um, the the reflection must do something to the beam of the laser because I need to cut it much slower. So I think at between 12 and 14 millimeters a second, but the machine needs to be uh, above 50% power, sometimes 60% power to cut. Um, so the shiny surface must do something to um, affect the the laser beam. <laughs> Another big issue I found with cutting the mirror acrylic that has the plastic covering on it, the plastic covering can get super hot um, and it liquefies and catches a light. Um, and because I use an acrylic cutting bed, which is made of, I think, 10 mil thick acrylic egg crate um, grill, um, yeah, the plastic melts onto it and I end up getting massive laser machine fires I've only ever experienced um, having well, any fires with this sort of acrylic. Um, so never leave your machine unattended, especially when you're cutting the gold acrylics with the, the plastic covering. I uh, hope this helps everybody. I'll do another video tomorrow um, about actually cutting and using the machines with the different acrylics. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.